the UEFA Champions League is one of the globe's most watched and attended sporting events. Paramount to its success is the logistical operations that take place behind the scenes on a UEFA competition match night. From their headquarters in Neon, UEFA officials liaise with their counterparts across all match venues to ensure safety, security and a broadcast output of the highest quality. We decided to establish the Match Common Centre in season 2008-2009. It's really uh, a key feature because uh, it enables UEFA to be in full control of uh, what's going on inside. We have on-site staff uh, at all of our matches uh, with match delegates, venue directors, uh, other officers. But uh, we need uh, to uh, kind of remote control what happens there. We need to receive their feedback and we need to give feedback to make sure that our regulations, uh, our standards are consistently applied everywhere. Before and during the match, we're looking at a variety of issues from a safety and security perspective. It could be pitch incursions, spectators coming onto the field of play. Could be crowd disturbances involving either the home or away supporters. When we have uh, situations which spill over the normal uh, level of uh, risk, uh, situations which may endanger uh, the playing of the game, then the match common centre works as a pivotal role because uh, it uh, allows for uh, an easy exchange of information. Also, very importantly, we use the Match Common Center as a data gathering place uh, because we collect all the pre-match information and the post-match information, information which is then stored by UEFA and uh, dispatched to every relevant department or unit for the follow-up. Here we have colleagues from TV operations who are monitoring the world feed transmission and graphics production. We have 16 feeds going on, and what you're seeing is the isolated camera footages. Uh, the main incidents of each match, we have a minimum of 14 cameras at each match. It may go up to 28 or 29. So what we're showing you is each incident from a different camera angle. So the broadcasters back at home can use those angles to complement their footage, their analysis. This is a great asset because it enables UEFA to have a full view of every match.